Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at the third Bullyland figure to ever hit my channel. And this was one that was recently advertised by EverythingDinosaur.com as they were telling everyone that they were going to get some stock in of a very hard to find Bullyland figure and that is this Pteranodon right here. And I will not tell you anything other than the fact that I jumped straight on it, added myself to that reserve list to get a hold of it. And I am super happy I did, because this Pteranodon is beautiful. It really has such an incredible, very striking look to it, and the overall sculpt is way better than I even imagined. This is definitely the best Bullyland figure that I have reviewed so far on this channel. Better than the Stegosaurus and Allosaurus, in my opinion, as far as how nicely sculpted and painted it is, and there is no real sloppiness that I've seen anywhere on it. It's honestly an absolute beauty of a Pteranodon in a standing pose too, which is also really cool for display purposes. But instead of me sitting here and telling you how great it is, let's get a closer look so you can see for yourself. So starting up here at the head sculpt, you can see that the beak detail is really nicely done. There is all sorts of fine detail that's been put into the beak, making it look very realistic and very lifelike. And then as you go down into the mouth, you can see that you can't really take notice of a tongue. But they have painted the pink out kind of so that you can see that there is that kind of a tongue in there. Regardless, I still think that it looks very nice. And it's nice to see a pteranodon without teeth as all the Jurassic ones do have teeth. And it's again nice to see one that's actually scientifically accurate without the teeth. Once you move back here from the beak into the nostril area, you can see the nostril is painted out with like a brownish coloration, giving it a little bit of a realistic look and really elaborating that area so you take note of it. And then you can move down into the eye and that same brown coloration is uh, basically circling the eye. And then you've got a yellow eye with a very large black pupil and the eye has a great gloss. The eye looks very real and it's honestly perfectly painted and that's one thing that I think I hadn't seen previously on any Bullyland figures that really impressed me on this one because uh, the Stegosaurus and the Allosaurus that I have previously reviewed both had really sloppily painted eyes but if you look at this Pteranodon both eyes are just honestly perfect like they are just perfectly painted on there and that really impressed me and uh, just showed me how much nicer Bullyland can do of a job on their paint when they actually do put forth a good effort, this Pteranodon looks fantastic. You can see that there are kind of the uh, appearance of, I think, picno fibers here all over the face. And then it's got that bluish coloration that starts to kind of give you a white stripe here above the eye. Then a blue stripe, then a white stripe, then a blue stripe, and then a red tip. And I think that whole area just gives it such a beautiful, very striking look. It makes the overall appearance of the head look very flashy and it's been really nicely airbrushed on there so it looks very natural the way it's applied and this is honestly something that's so bright and flashy but I could definitely see a Pteranodon looking like this. It's a very natural looking bright flashy paint scheme. If you look on the underside and the throat area it does have that whitish coloration which again really helps to give it some nice color variation in the head area and in the body and I think that white throat area looks really good. As you move back the neck, you can see that it's got like a dark brown here, almost a burnt umber. But then on the back of the neck, it's got like a reddish brown. And you can again take note of those picno fibers all over the back, really giving it a very nice look as far as those small minute details go. And you can come out the arm, you can see that the arm transitions from like that dark brown to like that reddish brown. And the reddish brown is all throughout the wing. And then you come up here into the hands. The hands don't have any kind of paint on the nails as opposed to the rest of the coloration of the hand, but they do look really good. The detail of the actual wings as far as the sculpting goes really looks great also. You can really take note of the movement of the pterosaur, just showing you all the ways that the skin is folding and creasing with the position that it is in. And I think they've done an incredible job as far as sculpting the very small minute details with the way the uh, body is moving in the skin flap here of the pterosaur. I think it looks great. And again, you have that nice reddish brown, but if you look, there are all sorts of kind of skin tone and skin variation as far as the color goes with different variations of browns and that reddish brown all throughout the wing. And it's the same on this side as it's in the same position on both sides. It's a very similar sculpt, but again, the paint is applied so beautifully and there are so many different variations of color 
all throughout the wing, I think it looks super realistic, and they've done such a great job with that. The uh, paint has been applied with an airbrush again, making it all look very natural and very real. Then you move down here into the lower back, you can see the small pterosaur tail, and the legs and everything come out here. The feet, again, don't have any kind of paint on the nails, but it's all just that nice dark brown, burnt umber type coloration. And then if we look at the underside, it's very similar to what you saw on the upper side with this paint. The coloration of the wings all really looks pretty much the same as far as the mixing of the lighter creamy color and then the reddish browns and the darker browns. And uh, it really looks great. The sculpting and everything looks fantastic as well. Once again showing all the movement of the pterosaur in the wing and the skin flap of the wing. And here you are with the uh, pteranodon and the scale, and then telling you again that it's bully land on this side. And the legs and the lower body look great on the underside as well, sporting some more of that beautiful Picno fibers. And overall, it honestly looks beautiful, and I really, really love this Pteranodon. As far as the size goes on the Pteranodon, it is actually quite small, a bit smaller than I honestly expected it to be. You're looking at about five and three quarter inches in length if we go from the tip of the furthest wing to the beak, or about 14 and a half centimeters. For a height, you're looking only at about two and a half inches or about six and a half centimeters. And if we go for a wingspan, considering it is down in a walking position, you're looking at probably about four and a half inches maybe. Yeah, about four and a half inches or about 12 centimeters in wingspan. For a size comparison, there is our friend, as always, the Papo Rex, and you can really get a good idea of the uh, small stature of this Pteranodon next to the Papo Rex. It's not super small, but considering it is a pterosaur, it is standing, it's going to be a fairly small figure down lower to the ground. But this, as I said, should give you a pretty good idea if you do own the Papo Rex or have seen another review on this channel of about how big this pterosaur is. It's pretty small, but beautifully done. So as I said before, I am really, really impressed with this Pteranodon. This actually blew me away when I had seen the images from Everything Dinosaur, and I knew as soon as I saw those images that I had to have it, but I honestly didn't expect it to show up looking quite like it did in those images, because really they usually don't, and considering the history that I have with other Bullyland figures, considering the Stegosaurus and Allosaurus were both fairly sloppily painted, they were both beautiful figures, well the Allosaurus was pretty nice, the Stegosaurus was beautiful, but I didn't think that they were that great as far as quality goes, because the paint, especially in the eyes and mouth area, were really sloppily done on both, but this Pteranodon is completely different. This honestly feels like it was made by a different company than those other two figures were. It's that nice, and it's really gotten me into the interest of other Bullyland figures, and now I think I'm going to start trying to get a hold of some other older Bullyland figures that I missed out on. If any of them are even remotely as nice as this, I will be completely happy with every purchase that I get. This Pteranodon is really nicely detailed. The overall detailing and everything looks perfect for the position that it's in. All the skin and body sculpt appears to be reacting exactly as it should be reacting for the situation that it's moving in. Along with the paint is really beautifully and nicely applied, very naturally applied. And again, it looks very realistic, but very flashy and uh, something that really draws your attention to it. It's honestly just so beautiful and I cannot get over how nice this Bully Land Pteranodon truly is. So if you do want to buy this, I would recommend you get on buying it right away. If EverythingDinosaur.com has not actually sold out yet, they probably won't have them in stock for too long, as I do believe this is long discontinued, and according to Everything Dinosaur, it is very rare and hard to get a hold of, and it'll definitely be sad if you have to miss out on it, because if you're a Pterosaur fan, this is in my opinion a must-have. It is truly a beautiful rendition of a Pteranodon. So, I will throw a link in the description for you if you are interested in buying this Pteranodon straight to EverythingDinosaur.com's listing as long as it is still there. So head on over there, purchase this guy up as quick as you can, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.